but hey, so yeah, this is my new track, Choreo. I just thought I'd go through the mix project with you. Okay, so uh, I wrote this in Ableton Live and stemmed it all out, stemmed it out and imported that into Pro Tools, which is what you're seeing now. Um, I mentioned before, I have everything going into a bus fader, which you can see there, called Master Feed. And that controls how much goes into the main master bus. So I can really push it. Or if I, uh, you know, want to break things back, of course, that's what I can do. Um, a drum bus here. You know, I like the universal audio plugs, so of course they're here. The LA 2 which is not doing much, as you can see, just tickling it. And then some um, saturation. Oh, just let me bypass this. So, it's doing quite a lot there. Um, there's the cake. Okay, so some transient design um, on the kick. Let me bypass this. So I'm sort of taking the thump out. Oh, that bass. Um, you can see behind me there, that Cork 700. The Cork 700 I'm using for the bass. Let's find a bit of that. Don't need you. Um, Here's some. What am I doing to that? Um, let's just bypass all these inserts. Actually, that sounds quite good. <laughs> um, EQing it. Well, I'm just taking loads of the low end out pretty drastically. And what was that, I wonder? Oh yeah, oh, that. I really like that, annoyingly. But I would say I took that frequency out because it would have been interfering with something else. I can't remember what. Um, some Fairchild. Compression. And some more EQ. Taking loads of the top end out. Probably because it was a bit noisy. Um, the signal chain was probably noisy. I think this was quite a spontaneous recording um, involving the Korg, so yeah, um, hurried, in other words. Okay, and my, you know, um, this Eventide plug, the boom. Let's just bypass this. And it's taking some of the thump out as well. If I, And they're really useful. Um, and there's another call here. Wow. Um, this is one. Sort of just sampled myself. I think that's reversed as well, isn't it? Um, it's pretty from back here. Yeah, as you can see, it says reverse. Wow, um, what have we got? Some transient design, bypass. Yeah, here's some of the noise. Um, stereo imaging. Yeah. SSL, um, uh, you know, I use the SSL um, UF8 and the single one as well. So I try and use their plugins because it gives me that control, you know, down there with my fingers. Um, filter gate. Wow. So that's doing a lot. I love this plugin. It doesn't get much love. It was quite buggy until recently. Like, uh, it would just lose the settings and you'd have to start again. But I use this, especially a lot of film score 
work because it um, it's really good for creating ominous ostinatos and of course decapitator. That's without it. It's quite nice without, but you know, I, I think a lot of these tracks, I was obviously in the mood for um, noise, saturation, distortion, fuzz. Okay, what else we got? So that's the cork stuff. Flute. I put flute on this? What is that? Okay, no, it's something else. Flute-ish sounds. Um, there's probably a bit of Valhalla there, I'd say. Yeah, always. It's coming over here. Oh yeah, I was probably messing around with this and found the sound and then this groove happened. See, there's nothing on the on the track effects-wise, so it would have been done in um, Ableton, whatever's happening. But I can hear some well on Flutter. Okay, that sound. Uh, what we start the track with that. So that is um, Slate and Ash Native Instruments um, Contacts instrument called Choreographs. Um, now, this might be familiar to some of you because I did a YouTube film um, about Choreographs and actually this this music actually came from that YouTube film. So I, what happened was I made the film and then the, the audio that I created, I turned into this track. So if I just solo this, there's so much going on. And it's very crunchy. It's good. It's where it calms down slightly. It's got that top end uh, hiss, which sounds like a hat or something. It's great, I like that. Um, of course, there's the SSL, some stereoizing, um, making it a bit wider, a bit wider, and that. I could have, you know, oh, and, and yeah, there's a bit of sweet here, which um, is bypassed. Let's see what it was doing. Nothing really. Probably put that on because I wanted to get rid of some of the harshness. But then, in the end, I've just embraced the harshness. harshness. Um, what else? Um, oh, did you hear that ding? Uh, what is that? Yeah. is from the wonderful Blank uh, from S um, in his, some of his tape sample packs with a bit of, a bit of sweet on it. Yeah, I've taken, I've made it 100% sweet. <laughs> let's, let's hear what it sounds like bitter. Ooh. Okay, let's go back to sweet. Nice. Just like that sound. Uh, submarine sonar sound, you know? Um, another favorite Ableton Live instrument I like to use uh, the Cathedral Keys, which was that flute sound we've talked about already. Um, it's Korg. Some more Korg coming up. And of course, the Prophet 12, which you can see here. Just doing some little fiddly stuff in the background there. 
star shower. Um, this is an Ableton sound, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, um, that retro um, sort of thing, which I like. Some more Ableton. Oh, so Ableton. Um, some sawtooths going on there. It's probably from one of my Ableton synths. Wave, wave table, I'd say. And what's this? What's this going to be? Pulsing organ. <laughs> so the pulsing organ. Um, it's not my pulsing organ. Um, it'll be some. It's probably wave. Wave table. what was going through my mind. Um, okay, let's just listen to the drum bus. Oh, finished, okay. Now, I remember um, thinking the hat started to annoy me. I probably and I programmed loads of beat and repeat sort of things as well. Um, we've talked about the kick drum. Synth, uh, what's, what's going on here? Gate, let's get rid of the gate. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that sounds cool, but actually what I was getting rid of is the, that thing, the diddly little thing. It's too noisy. So much cleaner. Another kick. I never have two kicks, but for some reason here I have. Working together. Uh, uh, again, got some transient design on that second kick. Um, funny old hat. Another hat. And for this one, yeah, of course, my favorite plugin from Baby Audio. I hope you've got this. Um, and then what's this? Another hat. This is some bittersweet. Bitter, more bitter than sweet. You can see why. All right, um, that's that. What you're looking at here is um, Those are my stems, which I, I use for film stuff, and they're all they're just always in my template. Um, so um, they're just always there. You know, I could uh, I could go. Yeah, actually, I, I've said this before. I'm going to make a film about my template. That's the easiest thing. Otherwise, we could be here all night. Um, yeah, master bus, of course, God particle. Without, without that turned on, that's too much. With, okay, let's, let's just uh, bypass everything. Woo. Okay. Of course, we don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. Always about 50%. Uh, a bit of EQ. Oh, that's nice. Some tape. Come on, wake up. I like that. My favorite mastering plugin, Master Desk from Brainworks. Just bypass it again. Yeah. And then uh, a little bit of bus compression from the SSL. Wow, that's doing quite a lot. But I'd say it's because I've got my master feed up. Let's bring that down again. Um, you normally I would have this just tickling like that. Okay, there you have it. That's Corio. 
and it's uh, out uh, very soon. I'll put the date in the description below. Um, on streaming services near you. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, I'm going to do more of these. I've got more tracks coming out soon. And um, if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, please subscribe. And um, yeah, you know, maybe I'm putting stereo widening uh, before reverb instead of after, or I'm making some other mistake like that. Um, if you've spotted anything, let me know. Give me, give me a hand here. Um, just leave a comment. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye.